Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back into the video day. And today, the Houston Rockets beat the Portland Trailblazers 116 to 88. Great win for the Rockets tonight. And the Rockets end up going to 2 0 in the NBA Emirates Cup. And now, a very impressive 12 5 on the season and are tied for second place in the West. Now, well, the Rockets are third place in the West at 12 and 5. The Thunder are also 12 and 5, but the Thunder do hold that tiebreaker because of the Thunder's blowout win in OKC against the Rockets. Uh, but Thunder the Rock the Thunder do not play tomorrow. The Thunder don't play till Monday. Rockets play these Blazers again with a win. The Rockets for the first time this season go to second in the Western Conference if they can pull off a tomorrow win against the Blazers. Um, now I'm going to make a prediction. This was a blowout win for the Rockets tonight, 116-88. They had their way. Not to start off, this was an 8-0 start for the Portland Trail Blazers. Then the Rockets would go on a 116-80 run. But I'm going to make a prediction. I'm going to make a prediction. The Blazers come back tomorrow fighting a little bit. I'm not going to say the Rockets lose the game, but I think the Blazers are going to be competitive in tomorrow's basketball game. I'm predicting they'll go on a back-to-back where the Rockets have played five in the last seven days. I mean, and also, you know, the the Blazers, when you, when you, when you play one team w- one night and then you play them the next night, the sa- that same team, you're going to make some adjustments. You're going to look at some things. Um, and I can still see the Rockets getting a double-digit win, but uh, look, it, it can't get much better than a 26-point win. I mean, obviously, it can, but um, I, I think the Blazers are going to come back with a little bit of fight in them um, tomorrow night is what I'm thinking. And I think the Rockets might show a little bit of tiredness tomorrow uh, going into back-to-back, but the great thing about that is if they do, there's some time off because the Rockets then won't play until Tuesday. So five tomorrow will be five games in the last seven days. Thank God they'll get a couple days, a couple extra days or an, or an extra day off. Uh, well, I mean, they don't have any days off with the back-to-back. So it's, it's, um, it's three, it, it's, it's two, it's, it's two, it's two days off. So I guess usually that's one day, what's one extra day off. Sometimes it's two extra day offs. So, uh, that's going to be great for the Rockets uh, s- uh, for Sunday and Monday. No games. All right. Um, but great win tonight, 116-88. to 88, And Rockets are now the only undefeated team in their group. Um, and now we're only a couple steps away from heading to the knockout run. We're, the knockout run, we're only eight NBA teams make it to. The Rockets are 2-0. and They're the only undefeated team in their group. The Blazers are now 1-1. They were the only other undefeated team in the group. So that's great. So the Rockets control their own Desi now. Play, they will play Minnesota and Sacramento. Minnesota on Tuesday. Then they will play the following Tuesday against Sacramento. And um, or maybe I don't know. We I don't know if we play the Rockets on Black Friday after Thanksgiving or if we play uh them on tuesday the next tuesday after that i'm not sure it's either friday or two it's either black friday uh after thanksgiving or the following tuesday after that we play the kings uh for the last in or or, you know emirates nba cup game um but the rockets control their only their own destiny being the only team in the group undefeated Sacramento is, or sorry, Minnesota's one and one. Sacramento and LA Clippers are zero and one as well. Uh, the Sacramento Kings and the Timberwolves play tonight, so either the Kings will go to zero and two and the Timberwolves will go to two and one, or the Kings will go to one and one and the Timberwolves are going to one and two. I'm thinking about rooting for the Kings. I think I'd rather see the Timberwolves one and two than two and one. Um, but yeah. All right, let's get into this game, 116-88. How about Dylan Brooks, the best night of his season? Maybe one of the best of his career. Um, you know, 20, 28 points, it's not a season high. It's not a career high for him, uh, but he tied a career high in three-pointers made. Six for eight from three for Dylan Brooks. Thank me for this one. Um, now, my biggest prediction, 
I, I'm sad. To, well, I'm I'm half sad, half not sad to be wrong about this. I predicted that it wouldn't be a great night for Dylan Brooks or Jabari Smith Jr. I was half right, half wrong there. Um, Dylan had 28 and five rebounds and was good defensively. He shot 10 for 15, six for eight from three. Jabari had a bad night, 20 minutes, two for seven, five points, two rebounds. Now, my reason for saying that I thought Jalen Green, and sorry, that Dylan Brooks and Jabari Smith Jr. would struggle tonight wasn't because of anything with them. It was because of two other people. And I think it's pretty easy to guess who those two other people are. That's Tari Eason and Amin Thompson. I predicted for Tari Eason and Amin Thompson to have a huge night tonight where the point where if Jabari and Dylan didn't get off to a hot start, they would kind of lose some minutes in the rotation and, uh, you know, lose some minutes in the rotation tonight and uh, Amin and Tari would take over. That kind of did happen a little bit. I mean, Dylan only had 25 minutes. Jabari only had 20. Amin had 24 and Tari had 22 um, Amin, they're both, uh, both Amin Thompson and Tari Eason were great. And I don't think the Rockets win this basketball game without them, of course. Um, Amin Thompson, we'll start with him. 10 points, 11 rebounds, a double-double for him. Another double-double for Amin. Four assists, three steals, two blocks, three for eight. Much better after one of his worst games in the season last, last Wednesday, or this Wednesday. Uh, and it wasn't really his fault. I mean, he would have done way better if he played more minutes. Well, I mean, look, it was his fault. He got in foul trouble. Um, if he didn't stay away from foul trouble, he would have he would have uh, gotten some more minutes. But um, but Amin Thompson with a great bounce back, 10-11, and 3 steals and 2 blocks. Then uh, Tari Eason, one of the be- one of the, one of his best nights of the season outside of outside of the uh, outside of the Warriors game. Uh, although he had a pretty good night the other night on Wednesday against the Pacers. Wednesday, he had six steals. Now, unfortunately, he falls tonight with only two steals, acting like that's bad or something. That's still good. Uh, I guess for Tari, it's not amazing uh, since he was, <laughs> you know, had a six-steal night the other night. 22 points, though, eight rebounds. So that's a good way to make up for not having any blocks and not having six steals. But uh, two steals, zero blocks, eight for 14, one for five, five for five at the free throw line. And he made a fortune tonight throughout the transition, whether whether it was, you know, there were, there were you know, a, a bunch of buckets that he had in transition. I think there was an, there was, there was at least an assist that he had. Uh, I, I believe there was an assist tonight that he did have in the transition. I might be wrong on the, about that, though. Uh, so Amin and Tari were fantastic tonight off the bench. Combined for 32 points, 19 rebounds, um, six assists, five steals, two blocks, only three turnovers. You love to see it. Um, I wish they would have shot better from three. One for one for five for the two of them. I mean, that's actually all Tari though. Um, Jeff Green had five points. How about Jeff Green? Let's get to Jeff Green. One rebound for Jeff Green as well. It's funny enough. It's so funny. Jeff Green gets in gets in this ball game and does some stuff. Because this morning I woke up. And it's the randomest TikTok I could find, actually, I, I think all day. But there is a TikTok about Jason Tatum re- reaching, like, 12,300 points. And it was, like, congratulating him. Like, it had, it had like, no likes. But the point of it is that um, looking at players that he was kind of close to, kind of reaching to passing, this is, like, in the, 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 the low 200s. 190s area of players to pass in the scoring totals one of the players that tatum is getting kind of close to is jeff green i think tatum's like 80 or or maybe 90 points away from jeff green so seeing that this morning i said to myself all right jeff green's gonna have to get in this basketball game and 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 stop tatum from getting to him um and he actually does get in this basketball game i don't think he scored enough points uh to stop jason tatum from uh getting closer to him i mean uh, maybe maybe he stopped it a, l- a little bit. Five points, one rebound, two for three, one for one from three. Love to see it from Uncle Jeff. Um, so I went over Dylan Brooks. That was the only starter I went over. I also went over Jabari. Alperon Shengun, not the best sign after his unbelievable 31 points and 12 rebounds, but only 25 minutes for Al P. Seven for 13 from the floor, 0 for 1 from three, 0 for 1 at the free throw line. Uh, 14 points, 9 rebounds, 3 assists, 1 steal. 
Look, I've said it before. There's been another game this season. I can't remember which one where Shingun did not score a bunch of points because he was not going to the free throw line at all. This is very similar similar in this game. Uh, Shingun, you know, even if sometimes he's missing at the free throw line, is very good at getting to the free throw line. And when he is not getting to the free throw line, uh, you will see him in the low or mid, maybe a little bit higher uh, you know, you'll see him in the low or mid uh, teens of, of scoring when he's not getting to the free throw line. Uh, and tonight in, four, in, in in 25 minutes, he had 14 points and nine rebounds. It wasn't a bad night. Uh, I just this, I just think this was a night for Shangun where not only did he not play a bunch because it was a blowout, but also I think another thing that really uh, I, that that really hurt him in this game was not being able. To get the free throw line, it's not a great. It's not a great excuse when, you, when you say you only played twenty five minutes when Brooks played the same amount of minutes and scored twenty eight. But uh, I think Brooks has a way better ability uh, and strongness than Shingun does at the three point shot at six for eight um, from three for Brooks. All right, Fred Van Vliet. Uh, this was a. I had I had a pr- pretty good prediction predicting Tari and Men Thompson to have a good night. Not so much with Fred. I mean, I wish he would have shot the ball more. It would have been a better night. Fred was dishing dimes tonight. That was really good. Eight assists. A little bit low on rebounds for Fred, though. Two Only two rebounds, two steals. So it wasn't a complete terrible night. I mean, he just wasn't shooting the basketball. I mean, if he shot the basketball more, I think Fred would have done better. No field goals. Only two shots attempt for Fred. 0 for 2. 0 for 1 from 3. Look, you, there's not a lot of shots to take when you have Brooks taking 15 attempts, Shingun takes 13, Jalen takes 17, Tari and Amen combined for 22 off the bench. Not a lot of shots for you to, to shoot, right? You can't shoot much when you have that going on. Um, you know, not you, you're not used to Brooks shooting that much, uh, or sometimes even Tari shooting that much. So, yeah, all right. Um, used to with Jalen and Shingun, but not the others. Um I went. That's. I think. No, I didn't go over Jalen. Jalen. He started off pretty hot in this game in the first quarter, but he calmed down pretty big. Seventeen points, five rebounds, one assist, one steal, six for seventeen, three for ten from three. Very good start for Jalen, but he calmed down pretty much. All right. Um. I've gone over Jeff Green, Tarisen, and Men Thompson. Jay Sean Tate. Pretty nice free throw in this game. I mean, look, score score different differential matters in these games and in the end in the NBA Cup, and he made a game-ending free throw that gave the Rockets a 28-point lead. That could be the, that could be the, look, if the Rockets lose one of these next couple games and they have a, a tie-breaking situation with another 3-1 and one team, potentially, like, let's say, all right, just for instance, let's say the Rockets lose on, on Tuesday against Minnesota, and then they beat Sacramento, they're 3-1, and one, say Minnesota finishes 3-1 and one in the tournament, both teams have 3-1, and one. Score different differential might be the difference. That Jason Tate point might help. Uh, I'm just saying. All right, so he made a free throw, missed a free throw. Is that that at the same time that missed free throw might hurt the Rockets too. Um, but at the same time, the Rockets miss eight free throws tonight. So you want to go look at every single one. Um, but Jason, outside of his twenty, outside of his one point in nine minutes, four rebounds, two steals. Look, this guy doesn't make a, a big scoring impact, but he makes a great impact, I think, with rebounding, defense, and hustle with the basketball. Um, Steven Adams played 15 minutes, one point. He did the one, two, three. Uh, actually, no, he did the one, two, three, three. Uh, one point, two rebounds, three assists, three turnovers. 0 for 1. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's not the best night for Steven. Uh, but you know what this means? That means no Steven Adams tomorrow. Uh, and a bunch of Jock Landell. Speaking of Jock Landell, Jock played seven minutes, went one for one, had two points and a rebound and a block. Hopefully, we can see more of that from Jock Landell because we know he'll be playing way more tomorrow with uh, the back to back. Jack McVay, four minutes, one for two. Hey, he also had a big shot at the end. He had a three to make it 112. No, uh, sorry, to make it 115 to 88. That was a big three for Jack. One of his first threes of his career. Three points, two rebounds, one assist for Jack McVay. Aaron Holiday, nine minutes, one for five. One for five, all three-pointers. Three points, two assists. Reed Shepard, one for six, one for three from three. Three points, three steals, two assists, two blocks for Reed. Reed was not great offensively in this one, actually kind of terrible. He did hit a three, but again, another player making a big impact in the game outside of 
you know, outside of scoring, and he did that tonight with his defense um, and and a couple of nice dimes. But what I mean, one of them was a unbelievable dime to Jeff Green. He wasn't even he wasn't even. Or no, sorry, Tatari Eason. He wasn't even looking on this pass. Tatari Eason it was unbelievable, and you're probably seeing it all over Sports Center or wherever you watch top highlights. It was unbelievable. What a dime by Reed Shepard. I mean, you got you got quarterbacks in the NFL who can't throw it that good forward uh, the way he threw the ball backwards. Even though I know it was a basketball, um, but yeah, great night for the Rockets. Proved to twelve and five, two zero in the cup. Um, and I'm, I'm very, I'm very impressed tonight. Um, but you know, look, if the Rockets need to go out there and get a, get a dub tomorrow, look, I, but also, also at the same time, I don't care as long as they won this game, they're all, I'd be upset if they lost tomorrow, but I don't care as long as they won this one. I would have traded. If you would have told me, uh, would you be fine if the Rockets won by 40 in this game and, and lost the next one? I'd be like, okay, I don't care. Like, just because the fact that this is NBA Cup game and score differential matters so much and you know in in these in these games I I would I would trade a 40 point win even though they didn't do that tonight it was 28 uh for a loss tomorrow uh, but at the same time I really hope they can get a win tomorrow that's a, that's the video hope you guys enjoy them your thoughts and peace out go rockets